check this little contraption out. Uh, being a luthier is about improvising, and uh, I was racking my brain yesterday trying to come up with a way to while uh, excuse me to coil pickups because uh, I've got a customer's guitar. It's a vintage uh, guitar, and they don't make pickups for it anymore. So I was uh, trying to recoil the pickups that it has in it, uh, basically make a brand new pickup, and uh, I was having trouble coming up with something, and finally. Um, after being very frustrated and breaking the coil a ton of times, um, I finally came up with this little contraption here. What it is, <laughs> this is this is fun as heck. Um, it's two personal fans. That's all it is, without the uh, uh, the blades in there. And I've made little bobbins and everything for the uh, um, or these little spindle things, or whatever, uh, to put on the axle of the. Uh, little motors that are inside these things um, and by you know controlling the flow here with my with friction with my fingers here on this little shaft I'm able to coil this vintage pickup and I'll show you how it works Whoa, stuff is falling but it's all good but there we go check it out see if you go too fast you'll end up breaking the the 44 gauge copper wire. But here, I am, you know, taking it pretty slow here. But uh, uh, an individual single coil pickup will normally have about uh, anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 winds, and I'm only about at 2,000. And I spent almost all day yesterday winding those 2,000. Uh, all, you know, completely by hand. Uh, but now I'm 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 going. Go. And sometimes it gets a little bit stuck, but you get it unstuck, and then you've got business. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys my neat contraption. And uh, I'm sure, it's not of any interest to a lot of you guys, but you know, figured it'd be in, be of interest to someone. Uh, take it easy.